Hey everyone, Technomentor here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix the flickering on your iPhone 16 Pro or the 16 Pro Max. So let's get started. Now, this happens for multiple reasons, but more likely the software issue that everybody is complaining about. So first thing you're going to want to do is go to your setting and then go to a display and brightness. From there on, you're going to click on always on display and we want to turn this setting off. And once you turn it off, we're going to follow these steps next. We're going to quickly press and release the volume up. Quickly press and release the volume down. And then hold on to the side button until the screen goes completely black and the Apple logo reappears. So I'll do volume up, volume down quickly one after another. And then hold on to the side button just like that. We're going to wait until the screen goes completely black. And then the Apple logo reappears on our display here. So we're going to wait for the Apple logo to show up and then we let go. All I did was quickly press and release the volume up, volume down, and then hold on to the side button just like that. And this method will not delete any of your data. So all of your photos, videos, apps will be safe. You do not have to worry about any of that being deleted or removed from your iPhone. So we're going to wait for it to show up. And then once you're on, you're going to go back on. The final thing to do is, as I mentioned, this is most like a software related issue and Apple will probably release an update to fix it. So in your settings, go to general, software update and keep on checking if there's an update out and make sure you update your phone to the latest version. If there's an update out, it's going to show up here. We can click on update now. I already have my phone up to date and I haven't had any issues on this version on 18.2 which seems to be stable. But again, something you want to do. And once you do fix it, the thing you want to do is if you want that always on display, go back into your settings and then go ahead and turn that setting on to see if it is fixed. And if it's not fixed, you can always turn that setting off temporarily and then come back do the update again. And hopefully by then, Apple fixes this issue. And if so, please consider the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone, other iOS devices. We'll see you guys next time.